I'm Anil Kumar and here is a practice question for you on trigonometric ratios. We are working on compound angle. Given angle x in standard position with its terminal arm in quadrant 2 and tan x equals to minus 2 over 5, determine the exact values of each trigonometric ratio. So we are given sine 2 theta, cos 2 theta and tan 2 theta. What you know is that the angle, ang angle theta is in quadrant 2, that's the principal angle, so that's the kind of terminal arm where the value of tan x, so this angle is x for you, the value of tan x is minus 2 over 5, correct? So in this particular triangle, the opposite side is 2 and adjacent is 5 and that is the angle, acute angle, let me call beta in this case, right? So first step here is figure out what is the hypotenuse. So let us say this is r. So calculate r first. So r will be equals to square root of 2 square plus 5 square, which is square root of 4 plus 25 or square root of 29. So that is the value of r. Second thing we know is we are in quadrant 2 and therefore the value of sine is positive, so we know sine of x is positive, right? Sine x should be equal to 2 over r, so it should be positive, 2 over square root of 29. As far as the cos x is concerned, so we say cos x should be negative. Adjacent side is 5 over square root of 29, right? So these are the values to work with, right? So from tan x, we get all these things, correct? Now using these values, you can always evaluate. For example, sin 2x. Now sin 2x is equals to 2 times sin x cos x. Is that okay? Which is 2 times sin x is 2 over square root of 29 times cos x is 5 over square root of 29. Since this is negative, the whole thing becomes negative. Do you see that? We substituted minus, correct? Square. <clears throat> and that gives you 5 times 4 is 20. So it's minus 20 over 29. So that is the answer for sine 2x. You can calculate cos 2x also. So cos 2x, we have three different formulas for cosine. You could use any one of them. Let us use cos square x minus sine square x formula. Use this formula, substitute these values, so which in this case will be minus 5 over square root 29 whole square minus 2 over square root 29 whole square, right? So that gives you, when you square it, denominator is 29 and the numerator will be 5 square is 25, 25 minus 4. Right? So 25 minus 4 will give you 21. So that would be the value of cos of 2x. As far as tan 2x is concerned, you can use the formula of tan 2x, which is 2 tan x over 1 minus tan square x. Now you can substitute these values directly here and calculate your answer. Right? So I'll leave that for you to do. So substitute these values, tan x is negative 2 over 5 and tan square x will be square of this number and then solve. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.